coach ranked opponent you come away with a win and a tie at home and really felt like you were in both of the games as well just kind of your thoughts on your team's energy levels and kind of being in both games this weekend overall happy with the weekend um i think i think tonight's tape won't quite won't won't look as good as last night's tape i don't think our process was great tonight um looking at just some things uh, special teams, face-offs, those kind of things, what, not as strong. But I do think we were real competitive tonight. I didn't think last night we were as competitive as we can be. Um, it was. It, it, it seemed like a weird game from our perspective. It just was one of those nights. There was not much flow going on. We, 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 we had lots of ozone time last night, had none tonight. I mean, the shots on that were borderline embarrassing on our half, on our, on our part. You know, we, we, we need we need to obviously put more pucks towards the other team's net. So um, that, that'll be the specifics of it. We'll, be go, we'll go back to it tomorrow. But tonight, when I look back on a weekend against uh, another veteran um, ranked team comes in here undefeated, um, you know, their coaches at the end were complimentary and they've seen, you know, they saw a ranked team in Merrimack at home. They, they had a good team again, Northern at home, and they were very complimentary of our team. So I think there's... Um, there's lots to be optimistic about with our group and what we're trying to do is build confidence and build belief. And it's nice to be able to do that with some positive things happening on the ice. Goals from your defensemen both last night and tonight, it's been a theme that they've been more involved in your offense. What have you guys seen as a staff that you guys have kind of encouraged that more this year? It's it, honestly, it hasn't been encouraged more. It's just I just think we're 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 a little more capable now. Those three sophomores, are, or excuse me, I mean the three sophomores were freshmen last year, so they're they're trying to figure things out. I think adding Spencer Cox to our group has has added some offense there. Um, Hampus has always been somebody that's helping, and then I, I think Moltz, Clem, and Draz are all guys that. We know they can help us in offense. Um, so whether it's on the rush or on the offensive blue line or whatever it is on the power play, um, we think our defensemen are capable. Um, we, we know that they defend five on five and four on five first and foremost. And then the offense is gravy. And uh, we think they've been um, – we think they've been playing to the potential. This isn't a surprise for us, and it's not more of a focus for us. We just we know five on five offense is difficult. We need our we need our defensemen involved. Obviously, the two too many men's is not going to please anybody. But you came up with a big kill after. What did you like from that that five on three kill? I liked everything. I liked everything. Um, Zach Sizek has uh, he takes the penalty kill very personally. Um, the too many men on the ice is, is the, the responsibility is is mine. Uh, I take full responsibility for that. That's it just can't happen. And to do it twice, I've never seen that happen before. Um, it almost seemed like the stars were, were saying it was not our night tonight. Um, but then our our penalty kill stepped up. So good for them. Sticking with the penalty kill, you blocked a ton of shots on the on the PK. Sullivan, I think, had two or three in a row. They got the the bench really going. What does that do? Uh, for your team, uh, like as far as momentum goes, in the game. I, I think little things like that, Drew, on a night where you're trying to find momentum and find some juice and find some energy, um, it, it helps big time. You know, we we were, I don't know if we were fighting it, we were just trying to find it, um, and that helps. You know, he he has been somebody that's just it's been, it's been a. Uh, almost an immediate influx of, of energy and, and, and he's very vocal and, and to do things like that, like that's what you expect from a, from a, a, an older guy, even though he hasn't been here and, and, and developed as an older guy here. Um, uh, so I, I, again, on a night where you're trying to create some energy, I think that's great. More scoring tonight from different sources and, and getting a lot of offense from a lot of different areas. Do you expect that to continue as the season goes? I on? do. I, I, I don't think there's any other way for us. I think, I think we have to do it by committee, whether it's offense or defense. Uh, you know, it has to be group led. And I, I expect it to continue. And, and, you know, hopefully we can get Frankie back and, you know, at some point get Alba Nielsen in there and, and, and we just continue to, to, to add some depth. And, and hopefully now we'll, we'll have uh, guys continue to contribute at all different levels. Do you think third overtime game of the season, does that help to 
prepare for the rest of the season, the grueling season that's ahead? 100%. Um, the three-on-three, three, you, you simulate it in practice. Usually we do it late in practice, Drew, and the ice is bad, and it's, you know, you put something, a Gatorade or a, 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 some type of skate on the line, but these to, to play like this, is it, it matters. And, you know, I think they had a couple of good chances. We had a couple of good chances. I mean, last night it didn't go very long. The fairest one went right to the, the, the last 15, 20 seconds. So I, I, I think it's something that's hard to simulate in practice. So being able to do it in, in, in games where it's real is, is good. Robbie Gold tonight, it felt like you've been more offensively involved. You and a lot of other defensemen as well. Just kind of want to get your thoughts on what you guys are doing from the back end offensively. Yeah, I think uh, this year we tried to uh, make a focus of getting pucks through. Um, being mobile at the offensive blue line, um, getting active, and something we've been working hard in training camp and every day in practice. And um, you can see a lot of the D um, chipping in offensively. So something we've been working on and um, nice to see come to fruition. Faced a team that twice out of the locker room, both at the start of the second and start of the third, came out really, really hard. And you guys were able to kind of weather that. Gave up the goal at the second, but you know you kept the game tied through that and you kept the game tied through the third. How are you kind of able to manage that you know, big spur of offense from the other side in the first like five minutes of each period. Yeah, I mean, every team's gonna have a push, and um, for us, it's just you know making sure that we're sound defensively and, and doing the simple things. So um, we know that every opponent coming up is, is gonna have that that push whenever it is, whether it's a second or third or, or first. So um, just to be ready and, and be ready defensively is, is something we're gonna harp on and, and make sure that we do. Conference play coming up next week. Your coach said this team you played this weekend very comparable to a lot mm -hmm. of the teams you're gonna face in conference. Just what are your thoughts on where the team is at now headed into conference play? We're confident. I mean, we've uh, we, we've played hard. Um, we've played some good teams here, and we've built kind of a, a core here that um, every team we play, we're, we're gonna we're gonna play, we're gonna fight them for it. So um, we're a confident group, and, and everyone's pushing the right direction. So um, you know, we're we're excited for conference play. Yeah, coming in against a, a tough team like this, and to get a win last night and to come away with a tie ranked opponent uh, what does that mean for the program moving forward i mean it's a lot it's it's all the hard work that the the staff and the coach uh, coaches and all the support is put in um you know again it's nice to see everything kind of kind of come to fruition and um you know we're excited for for what's to come in league play and now that we got six games on our belt we can kind of break down the video and and uh you know just look forward to you know a nice uh, november november uh games